Hello, this is video. <laughs> Hello, this is video number. I'm 11, and and it seems like these have gone by so fast. And um, I was like, oh, I'm never gonna find, I'm never gonna find anything to fill um, 13 videos with. But you know, this is 11, and I I've somehow managed to um, to come up with it. Like I am aware that I I haven't been scripted for the most part, so I've just been making. I've just been talking and rambling, which is quite nice because I like a good ramble. So yes, um, hey, a video at eleven of my um, of my international stuttering awareness day videos, and, uh, um, and I'm going to touch on an issue that's very important to me personally, which is acceptance. And acceptance is something which. In which I think like a lot of people who stammer um, can strive towards. Um, like and I can, nowadays, it's not so much about um, about like a being fluent and being perfect, perfect. Um, but it's about um, like accepting who you are, like accepting the fact that you are that you're pretty good, even if you happen to stammer occasionally. Um, so that's kind of where I've been trying to get to over the last five years. I've been trying to build myself confidence. I've been trying to reassure myself that I'm worthy, that I can do this, that I'm capable. And, and you know, like it's one of those things that like in your rational mind, of course you know you're capable. Of course you know you can do it. But it's taking that extra step where you're like, yes, definitely. And that um, my speech has improved tenfold since I was like, yeah, like I stammer, but that's fine. I'm still going to talk. I'm not going to let it affect me. I'm going to get on with it. I guess, you know, at the end of the day, like life is short. You need to just enjoy it for what it is. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so, so yeah, I think, I think it's important. And at I'm looking at something that's coming more and more into the rhetoric around stammering, which is good. Because I think it should be less about kind of trying to manage our fluency and trying to be fluent and more about um, and more about like enjoying who we are and living in the moment and trying to do as much as possible. So hopefully I'm achieving that. Um like it's still not perfect. I still have moments where like I feel ashamed. Um, like where like if something doesn't go right for me like, or like if I feel like I made a fool of myself I'll I'll go home and I'll feel crap and I'll and I've cried um, and it happens even yeah like, even in the last month it's happened so it's still it's it, it's not perfect it, I mean, it still gets me down even though in my rational mind I know it shouldn't but I think it's yeah um, I think I'm getting towards a good place. I think I'm in a good place, and I hope to keep being in that place and keep um, like acting um, as as a spokesperson for stammering and as a spokesperson like for like, acceptance of your stammering um, and encouraging people to embrace who they are because who you are is pretty great, um, and if you don't accept that then why should you expect it anywhere else dude like you <laughs> as corny as it sounds you have to love yourself um, yeah. <laughs> so so yes that is my poignant message of um a video I'm at 11 um so like what else would you like me to cover like in my final two videos um if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. Like, if you have any comments in general, and like, again, I love all the likes. I love all the comments. It's been amazing. So like, I'm so appreciative of everything. And I will see you at seven. So, bye.